Uh, hi, would you like to introduce yourselves? Okay. Hi, I'm Dr. Godfrey Akpojoto. I'm a faculty member of the Delta State University back in Nigeria. And this is uh, Louis. Louis is uh, a postgraduate student at Sharpman University. He was my undergraduate uh, student back in Nigeria. So basically what we are talking about is an overview of the Python Africa Computational Science and Engineering Top Project. Here, of course, we are using Python, I mean, what we know before now there is a traditional dichotomy between theory and experiment, but today, both in research, both in teaching and learning, there is a third leg of uh, that, which is the computational approaches, okay? So, our project is actually trying to spread this computational approach using Python in Africa. That is basically the project. So. The three things we do, we teach students, we teach uh, beginners, we teach even expert Python back in, in Africa. Then also we use the Python to model, simulate and visualize laboratory experiments. Okay. Then we also use uh, the Python to, sim to model, simulate and visualize physical phenomena, physics laws and so on and so forth. Then uh, if you look at the, what we have done here, we have used it uh, like it for the teaching. We have been able to, I use it for my computational course, two semester courses, of which of course he was my student and I use Python a lot and also I, you, I, I, I mounted a course every year at the National Mathematical Center Abuja for both young post, uh, postdoc, both uh, faculty, young po, uh, faculty member and postgraduate student. Then uh, if you look at the simulation, I've simulated some simple experiment which physics students they are actually like. Of course this is simple harmonic motion which talk about the Hooke's law. So you are able to exhibit the Hooke's law here with this uh, mass on the spring pendulum. Then you also see this simple pendulum also. Of course you can see as you vary the length here, the simulation, you are seeing the period time changes you can calculate whatever you want to calculate and also plot a graph with mod plot uh, lib so from visual basic to mod plot lib you use all those uh, things then again you see this one here this is very interesting of course quantum mechanics is not really common to common sense as people will say but here we are able to sh as it be the difference between a classical particle and a quantum particle a classical particle of course when it gets a barrier as long as its energy is lower than that of the potential barrier it will be reflected back and this is the same thing with quantum mechanics but for or we quantum particle has an additional property that when it gets a barrier and its energy is close to that of the potential, why that of a classical particle it will be reflected, but quantum mechanism, the particle will be both reflected and transmitted. And also we are using it here for Fourier transform, okay, which of course is not common. Most of these things they are in equations, students don't see it, but when you put it like this, they see they get excited, they get to love both physics, science and engineering. And that is exactly what we are doing. And it is really something that is growing in Africa. We are teaching more people, both teach, we teach the teachers, okay, and it's really an exciting thing. Of course, it is exciting to all this program with Python. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Would you like to language and uh, really get hook on it and um, besides showing them how these things work in physics it also introduced them to programming which is um, an invaluable tool for a scientist right now so it's really really great thank you very much thank you thank you